Thank you for joining me today. This is Andrew Pulte with IAC Acoustics. And today we're going to talk about NVH and acoustic test facilities. Just a little bit about myself. Um, as I mentioned, I'm Andrew Pulte. I'm the NVH and test facility sales manager at IAC Acoustics. Uh, I have a little over 14 years now uh, of experience in uh, the NVH testing. Um, worked with the uh, commercial vehicle group and, and Honda Transmission, um, performing vehicle testing for powertrains, components, and, and also full vehicles out in the field, um, both in a manufacturing and uh, R&D type of environment. My background uh, is with the Ohio State University. I have a Bachelor of Silence, Science in Mechanical Engineering and also a Master of Engineering in Acoustics from Penn State. So typically when, when you think of uh, acoustic test facilities or acoustic rooms, um, there's mainly two, two types of, of rooms. Um, the first one on the left is the one that may be more commonly known. These are anechoic rooms. So if you go into a room and, and you see uh, triangular wedges on the walls or, or if you go inside and, and it sounds really dead or, or quiet inside, those are anechoic rooms. So um, the whole purpose of, of these facilities is to have sound absorbed by the, uh, the surfaces of the enclosure. Um, so if there's a sound source and you have a, a, a microphone or a measurement that you need to take for that sound source, you only are measuring the sound source direct path. Um, you're not measuring any reflection, uh, the sound source and any additional reflections. A reverberation room is exactly the opposite of that. So the, the purpose of a reverberation room is to create a, a very uh, reverberant and diffuse field inside the enclosure so that the uh, in, in a perfectly diffuse in, uh, environment, you'll have sound emanating from all directions in all locations of the room at the, at the same pressure level. So a little bit about IAC Acoustics. We are part of the Catalyst Acoustics Group. Um, so Catalyst Acoustics Group is a large noise control product uh, parent company that, that owns and operates several, uh, several other acoustic uh, noise control product companies in, here in North America. Um, IAC Acoustics was originally established in the Bronx in 1949. So, so we've been around for uh, a little over 70 years now. Our director, Thomas Hines, has over 20 years of experience with IAC. Um, Ted Marquis, he's our industrial sales manager, also with uh, more than 20 years of experience in the noise control industry, um, specifically focused on industrial and implant noise control solutions. Darren Riley is our HVAC product sales manager. He has uh, many decades of experience um, in, in the industry. His, his focus is on silencers and louvers, um, determining insertion loss. Ryan Wheeler is our industrial commercial sales manager. He has a focus on commercial sales and, and outdoor barrier wall systems. And then Kalina Winter is our power sport dyno sales associate. Uh, an NVH test facility, um, so the getting down to the very basics of what NVH is, it, is it stands for noise, vibration, and harshness. Um, typically, an NVH chamber is used in the automotive industry that the, the term NVH is kind of coined by, by the automotive industry, and so it's usually used when uh, doing vehicle development, although not exclusively. Um, the, the more generic term for these is, is hemianechoic or anechoic facilities. Um, but typically these involve uh, a very quiet indoor facility um, with anechoic treatment on the walls and sometimes uh, on, on the ceiling as well, uh, a lot of times. Um, typically the floor is a, is a hard surface either flat or, or it may have some, some dips in it with the chassis dynamometers or, or other pieces of equipment. The construction of these, of these chambers involves uh, panel construction and, and noise control doors um, with some steel detail. Usually, as I mentioned for these uh, NVH test facilities, um, most of the time there's, there's no floor panels, but uh, we do often provide isolation systems. Um, underneath the, the concrete of the floor uh, if we need vibration isolation to, to separate the, uh, the external noises, uh, especially at low, very low frequencies, um, 5, 10, uh, 50 hertz. Those very low frequencies tend to translate uh, and, and be transferred across uh, large 
large uh, buildings and they, they transfer very, very easily um, across uh, solids. And, and so it's really, really difficult to isolate these with, with sound. Um, typically you need a, a more of a vibration isolation type of system, for very low frequency. The panelized system that we use to construct these chambers is, is our IAC Acoustics Moduline Enclosure Panels. They have a very high level of sound transmission loss, and there's, there's a variety of different um, acoustic performances based on what your requirements might be. Um, all of these panels in, in steel detail and doors all line up with uh, specific acoustic requirements. Um, they've been tested and rated in the field. Uh, we, we offer um, UL fire rated panels and doors as well as, as uh, for, for acoustic performance. So the, the modular design essentially allows us to be really creative and kind of um, pick and choose what materials are needed based on your application. Door size, um, the size of the enclosure, the height, um, the, the load that's going to be required, uh, whether or not you need uh, electrical and fire rated system in here. All of that goes into factoring how to design your, your specific uh, enclosure. As I mentioned before, there are a lot of different panel types um, with different levels of acoustic performance. Um, our, our moduline panels, we have more than 20 different types. And this column under the STC rating, that's, that's really the important one to know here. With the exception of these bottom two, um, Gemini Noise Shield and Gemini Noise Lock 2, those are double wall panels construction. So there's a, there's a four inch thick wall, a four inch airspace, and then another four inch thick wall. With the exception of these, um, all these other panels are able to uh, achieve this S high STC performance in a four inch thick modular panel construction. We offer ratings for moduline panels from STC 40 all the way up to STC 64 for our Noise Lock 15 hardliner panels. So in addition to our modular noise, um, our, our modular panel construction for, for the walls and the ceilings, the noise lock, IEC's noise lock doors have a pretty large range of STC performance requirements as well. From STC 43 uh, all the way up to STC 64, we're able to get a, uh, a single, single panel construction, um, you know, single door construction uh, up to STC 64. And, and that allows us to provide um, provide a really high, high level of sound transmission loss without having to um, double up and, and create a, a double wall enclosure. With double wall systems, we're able to achieve a, a fairly, uh, obviously a much higher STC performance than, than even these, if that's what's required. Many applications do require double wall um, because they might be set into a pretty loud environment and have a very low background noise requirement inside. Um, so the, the sound reduction uh, may be significantly higher. But our noise lock panels, and or I'm sorry, our moduline panels and our IAC noise lock doors are all constructed right, right in-house in our factory. Um, so we're able to manufacture essentially um, whatever size you might need for your application. We're able to do that. Just a few photos of some of the applications we've done in the past. Um, we, can, we can attach uh, hardware. Uh, electrification to, to our doors. So we can have automated doors um, open and close. We can have sliding doors. Um, this is a typical application for a power sport test application. So these are manual cam hinge doors with uh, push-pull hardware. Uh, these, these ones are pretty large. They're, they look like they're about uh, 10 foot by 10 foot. And uh, each individual panel is, is constructed in our factory and tested. Um, our, our doors are hung at the factory in the frames to ensure that once they get to the field that they'll still fit properly. Just a few more examples. Um, you can see in the upper left hand corner, this is a, a, an application for an, indu uh, an industrial noise test enclosure. Um, the, the customer had a very high sound transmission loss requirement. They needed an STC 61 performance um, and they still needed to have that in a sliding door, which is very difficult to do, but we're able to achieve that and, and have this uh, automated. This is a pneumatic sliding door that opens and closes uh, at least a couple hundred times a day. Um, so these are, these are meant for high durability, high acoustic performance. Some of the other features of our hemianechoic test cells include uh, ventilation and 
obviously with ventilation, um, we need to make sure that the, the airflow is slow enough and that the, uh, the turbulent air is, is reduced as much as po possible to a more laminar flow. Um, so we produce, um, we produce our own silencers and, and baffles to be able to quiet down that airflow as much as possible. So even with your uh, HVAC system on, we're still able to maintain a very low noise level inside this enclosure. And uh, actually, this picture in the middle is kind of neat. This is a uh, the tranquil our tranquil air ventilation system. So this room is a multi-purpose room. It's used for sound level testing. Um, when the vehicle is on a chassis, or even if it's just sitting stationary, we can we can do the customer can do sound level measurements. When they new, need it for more of a durability type of application, this tranquil air ventilation um, just pops up. It's it's kind of spring spring or hydraulic uh, shock activated. It can pop up and provide the air cooling to simulate a vehicle driving at a, at a certain speed down the road, so that you don't overheat your powertrain when you're doing uh, durability testing for you know several hours or even days at a time. One of the main features that really stand out. When you when you see photos or, or walk inside of one of these chambers is is the wedges, and the wedges are really important. They they serve uh, they serve a their main purpose is to provide absorption. Um, so that way, when you when you're performing measurements inside the enclosure, you're measuring only the source emitted, uh, the direct path from the source. Um, you're not measuring the source plus reflections from the other surfaces. And so the the wedges the the size of the wedges and the shape of the wedges is usually determined by the size of the room and and also the lowest frequency that's needed to perform uh to, to measure accurately in the room that's typically known as the frequency the cutoff frequency and so the the cutoff frequency determines the the thickness of these wedges the uh, photo in here and, and on the right side is uh, pictures of our metadyne anechoic lining uh, wedges. These are our most durable. They are a uh, fiberglass wedge in a perforated steel case. And so these provide a very, very high level of durability and, uh, and absorption and, uh, without sacrificing performance. Another option, um, uh, cost-effective option, is to use uh, uh, anechoic lining for the, uh, the foam. We use uh, an IAC's has a, a melamine foam wedge, and we're able to manufacture this up to uh, you know 36 inches thick, or or potentially even more. Um, this this application here specifically was for an eight inch thick wedge, and um, you can see another one over here um, on the right side for a smaller enclosure. These are both hemi anechoic rooms, um, so we were able to provide a high level of acoustic performance. Inside these chambers, they they are um, ISO 3744 and 3745 certified as well. Uh, we have that capability to do to do those tests to verify the rooms meet the specific anechoic standards that may be required. We have a full turnkey approach uh, as an option at, here at IAC. We we can um, act as the uh, act as the kind of general managers and and manage large-scale projects for the construction of, of the building, the, uh, the anechoic treatment, and uh, the, you know, all of the HVAC and lighting, electrical, um, essentially full turnkey approach. Uh, we, we've done that in the past, and we have the capability to do that in-house with, with IAC. We can offer also just uh, materials. We can provide materials and installation. Um, so so we, have a, we have a lot of flexibility to be able to supply um, from a full scale you know full scale construction project down to just the materials for the acoustic treatment um, whatever your requirements are there's a few some of the accessories and, and uh, standard systems that we that we do offer um, we have wedge baskets which are placed in front of uh, of our noise lock doors um, as you can imagine a, a very large reflective surfaces is kind of the opposite of what you want in an anechoic facility. Um, so when we install our IAC acoustics uh, noise lock doors and super noise lock doors, we also put uh, wedge baskets in front of that. So that way you have um, that level of acoustic, the, the level of acoustic performance is not um, 
not degraded by these big reflective surfaces. Pass-through sleeves are, are very common. Pretty much every application that we have uses at least one pass-through sleeve for data acquisition, cables, um, microphone cables, uh, utilities, anything that you might need to, to come through here. Um, if we can't, if, if you need easy access to it, then we can offer these, these pass-through kits as a, as a standard feature. And uh, windows even, we, we can put windows into a, an anechoic room or a hemi-anechoic room. Um, usually it's not recommended, but there are some tricks that we can apply uh, to, to make sure that we have very high sound transmission loss, uh, double pane windows. And uh, like for this example here, the, the window is actually slanted upward. So when you have a sound source in here, that sound gets reflected upwards and, and gets absorbed by the ceiling. Um, so there's, there's, some, there's some ways that we can get around. Uh, we can also put a wedge basket around the window as well during testing. Um, so there, there's a few ways that you can still be able to have a viewing window inside an enclosure and, um, and maintain the, the, the high level of acoustic performance. Just a few more photos of some applications in the past that we've done. Uh, the the Metadyne wedge with the hemi anechoic facility. Um, as I mentioned, hemi anechoic um, is, is with all of the walls and the ceiling treated and then a, a concrete or a reflective surface on, on the floor. We also offer uh, lighting and electrical. Uh, we, can, we can put uh, electrical outlets um, either in between the wedges if the wedges aren't too thick or, or in an application like this, typically what we would do is we'd offset the electrical outlets um, to some stands just directly in front of the wedges. And we do that with light switches as well. Lighting is uh, LED lighting. Uh, it's it's nice and quiet. It just doesn't emit any sound, um, and there it's drop-in lighting, so it's got a, a minimum surface area, so you you don't have any uh, un, unwanted reflections from the lighting as well. Um, it's it's a full modular turnkey system, so we can we can offer, as I mentioned, the materials uh, or the materials and installation. Uh, we also offer um, design. You know, we we do the design and, and um, construction and, and fabrication of the of the uh, panels and the doors all in-house at our factory. Um, here's a kind of a neat application. This is a chassis dynamometer um, with, a, with an air-cooled system. So this one's not retractable. This is a stationary one. And uh, you can see the, the operators in here. There's a, there's a direct viewing window. Um, the, the acoustic measurements look like they're, they're down pretty low. Uh, these are you're measuring tire noise, it looks like. And uh, so the reflection from the window is not necessarily going to be detrimental to the measurements because the microphones are placed down here near the wedges. We do also offer um, anechoic testing facilities. So uh, the difference between an anechoic and a hemi-anechoic room is the floor. In a hemi-anechoic room, your, your floor is, is usually a, a concrete or painted, or painted concrete. For a fully anechoic room, you have absorptive treatment on the floor as well as uh, all the walls in the ceiling. Um, this this allows you to provide to to uh, have the highest level of um, precision in your measurements. It's uh, able to meet the the highest standards that are required for uh, for ISO. Uh, we can meet 3745, 3744, and also the newer ISO 26101 um, with these anechoic rooms. Obviously, these are made for uh, lighter duty. Um, typically, we have a, a metal graded, or, or in this case, this is a cable floor, like an aircraft cable floor. Um, so it's a lot more difficult to, to drive a car in here, uh, but, but for smaller product testing, um, things like speakers, telecommunication devices, uh, you know, even, even server equipment, that, that's typically done in a, in a smaller anechoic facility like this. And then just a couple more photos. Um, the picture on the right is, is a hemianechoic chamber, but this is actually utilized two different types of treatments that, that we offer. Um, so the first one is the, the wedges, the metadyne wedges that, that I had mentioned, the perforated steel. And the second one is a flat panel uh, construction. So this is our um, IAC's planar coic panels. Uh, if, if, the, uh, if space is a, a, a potential issue, or, or if there's just uh, not a need for the, um, absorptive, um, the, the absorptive surface area that wedges offer, we can also provide uh, a, a thick absorptive treatment with, uh, with our planar coic system. 
And so behind behind these panels is is a layer of uh, treated, you know, uh, absorptive material, and that that thickness depends on again the cutoff frequency of the moon. This is a pass by chamber. Um, so this this is set up for uh, indoor pass by measurements. There's a specific uh, ISO requirement for for that. Um, usually these chambers are pretty large. You can see even though this is a motorcycle chamber, this is a, it's a very large one. Um, and a lot of different microphones set up. Uh, this is a, another example of a, a fairly large hemi anechoic facility. Uh, we also have shake and rattle chambers um, for four post shakers. Um, typically, we we can treat the uh, the shaker itself. We we put some some treatment down in the pit of the shaker to try and quiet it down. And uh, of course, putting it in an enclosure with uh, some absorptive material on the ceiling and the walls is is uh, really useful too. There's some smaller enclosures that we offer for uh, buzz squeak and rattle. Um, that that's becoming a pretty uh, pretty popular term, uh, and especially in automotive, BSR testing is is becoming more and more important. Um, due to the uh, the advent of electric vehicles, um, they're they're getting really really getting to be a lot more commonplace, and um, that that obviously uh, reduces the cabin noise inside a vehicle by a pretty significant amount, um, and so Little squeaks and rattles from the dash or, or from the seats or headliners, um, you know, any, any sort of abnormal noise that was always there before, it, it might stand out a little more now. And, and so there's a lot of uh, OE, OEMs and, and suppliers developing um, better, better testing capabilities for measuring buzz squeak and rattle noises for their components. We have uh, wheel dynamometer hub as well so so these are custom enclosures that are able to be manufactured and assembled around an existing dynamometer or, or a new diamond dynamometer so so we can we can provide an enclosure to quiet down the motors and also um, provide solutions for treating the the room itself as well to get to get a very low background noise level um, when these when the dynos are running and you can you can measure the noise coming from your drivetrain components and the noise coming from all the Tesla equipment is very minimal. This is just a couple more examples of some, some anechoic rooms um, showing some of the applications uh, of these fully anechoic systems. Engine noise test cells. Uh, so the photo on the left is, is pretty cool because it shows uh, several different types of acoustic treatment. We've got our, our metadyne wedges on the walls and the ceiling. We've got a, 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 a foam treatment around the, the engine uh, housing. And then uh, another type of uh, absorptive acoustic treatment on the on the floor, the the blue absorptive wedges down there. Um, so th there's there's a lot of different applications for these. Um, these particular application looks like they're uh, measuring some sound quality measurements with a binaural head. And uh, we we can we can work around existing equipment. Um, this one uh, on the right, you can see there's a, a big crane in here, so uh, we we can build around or or we can. Um, you know, we can we can typically work with the other contractors uh, around lighting, uh, fire suppression, uh, sprinklers, um, smoke alarms, carbon monoxide alarms, all of those things that require uh, penetrations and and uh, ceiling ceiling detail. We work with the contractors for for all the all these projects to make sure that um, you know our our installers are are coordinating with all that activity to essentially give you one one point of contact. Um, to make sure all of these all of these things get installed and and that uh, everything goes smoothly. Just a couple more examples of uh, product tests um, using our our melamine foam wedge systems. You can see these are fully anechoic rooms, so they they require the uh, metal grating floor. Um, there's there's a lot of different ways you can do this graded flooring. Um, you can use some some channels and and graded floor, or or you can just have a if it's a small enough enclosure, you can just have one single piece. Okay, thanks everybody. Feel free to visit our website, iacacoustics.com. There at the main page, you'll find a link to testing facilities, and there's several different options. We have specific information on anechoic chambers, uh, automotive test chambers, uh, and NDH, or reverberation rooms. So feel free to reach out to our website or, or contact me directly, and I uh, appreciate everyone's time. Thank you. Thank you.